So you were at the HGN lab? Yeah. At, uh, what was your role in it? <laughs> Not that one. Okay. You haven't been drinking, have you? No. Nothing at all? Nope. Been smoked. What do you I work drink? for? What's that? What do you work for? City of Maricopa. Oh, okay. I see the radio there. Oh, yeah. We we did our HGN lab, our uh -huh. final uh, gazes. In, uh, Is that where you're coming from now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Stopped on so what happened to your car? Well, Driving down the highway, trying to eat my Big Mac and my double cheeseburgers. <laughs> yeah, so we, we got called that they thought your tire was sparking. Um, it very so, well could be. I drilled that thing. Yeah. That's why I was trying to get over. Yeah. Did you know uh, he works with us now, Jose Angulo? Yeah. He's a legend. They call him the uh, Rain Man. The Rain Man? <laughs> That's Jose Angulo's name in Maricopa, the Rain, Rain. Man. Uh, he uh, works he's for Maricopa. A, he's got a photo, uh, photogenic memory or whatever. Yeah, you call yeah, it. yeah, yeah. We got called because somebody said you hit a car on the freeway. Oh, shit. Uh, do you mind stepping out for me, please? Yeah, of course. Would you mind if I take a look at your eyes then? If you've had nothing to drink? Yeah, of course. Oh, perfect. Have you taken any prescription medications or anything? Hydrocodone. You took hydrocodone? Yeah. Well, come on back over here, Jonathan. All right, Jonathan, here's, here's what we're looking at. All okay. right. The triple zeros is, was kind of what we expected. Okay. I think with with everything else that you may have either taken more than you were prescribed. So at this point you are under arrest for DUI. Alright? Okay. I need you to put your hands behind your back for me, please. Okay. Yeah. Yep, all of my SWAT gear and all of that actually is in my, so we're talking rifle mags, flashbangs. Do you have flashbangs some, in your car? Some gas, stuff like that, we've got to roll at any point. So here's a bunch of Zanny bars. And, uh, so you got felony right here. It's Adderall. Ah. Why would you take a sleeping pill prior to driving? To tell you the truth. Because Are you prescribed Adderall? No. So where did you get the Adderall? Because there's quite a few pills in there. Right. And it's in a pill bottle that's prescribed to you, but it's the prescription for that testosterone that you were talking about. I've had those forever since the Army. Have you been prescribed this legally? No. Okay. Where did you get this animal? From something off the internet. So you bought it off the internet? Yeah. Okay, you're off yeah. duty? From where? Uh, we're just getting done with the HGN certification. Okay. And eating McDonald's and eating shit on the curb. The color was transferred over from GPS. So you were at the HGN lab? Yeah, at, uh... What was your role in it? <laughs> Not that one. Okay. You haven't been drinking, have you? No. Nothing at all? Nope, been smoked. Really tired from this week. Finally got into that lab. Okay. Eating McDonald's and eat shit on the corner. Did you have a collision with another vehicle at all? No. I was, to tell you the honest to God truth, eating my McDonald's and my fries. Okay. Not paying attention, ate shit on the curb, tried to get off the roadway, and here I am. Okay. Uh, what did you say your license was? Yeah. Who do you work for? City of Maricopa. Okay. I do have one off-duty weapon right here, just so you know. Okay. And then I have one in my truck as well, sir. Okay. Insurance? Oh, uh, yeah. I'll let you talk to this officer real quick. Okay. What's going on, man? What do you work for? What's that? What do you work for? City of Maricopa. Oh, okay. I see the radio there. Oh, yeah. We we did our HGN lab, our uh -huh. final uh, gazes in uh, PCSO. Oh, okay. Is that where you're coming from now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Stopped at McDonald's. So what happened to your car? Well, driving down the highway, trying to eat my Big Mac and my double cheeseburgers. <laughs> trying to punch in the address and... Wow. Radio. Okay. Fucked up. What'd you hit? Curb. Like, uh, uh, on the freeway or? Yeah. On, oh, okay. uh, gotta be the 202 or something. Was, it, was the tire sparking or something? 
I don't know. That's what we were told. That's what I'm asking. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I don't know. I hit it, and then I was just looking for an exit, found this one, and busted over here. Oh, okay. So where, how was the training? Was it any good? I passed. <laughs> that was for HGN? Yeah, it was the HGN oh, okay. class. So where was the curb at that you hit, you think? Oh, like a mile back. Yeah, no, they said that something was sparking. Yeah, they said you hit them. Yeah, so we, we got called that they thought your tire was sparking. Um, it very so, well could be. I drilled that thing. Yeah. That's why I was trying to get over. Yeah. How long have you been with Maricopa? Uh, about three years. Three years? Two and a half, three years. Oh. Did you know uh, he works with us now, Jose Angulo? Yeah. Uh, he works with us now. He's a legend. They call him the uh, Rain Man. The Rain Man? <laughs> That's Jose Angulo's name in Maricopa, the Rain, Rain. Man. Yeah. Uh, he works for a, Maricopa. He's got a photo, uh, photogenic memory or whatever yeah, you call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what everybody says. Yeah. It's funny. The Mexican Rain Man. Um, he's a good guy. Jonathan, I, I know you were talking about partners. Where did you say you were coming from? From the uh, HGN lab. Where's that at? It was in PCSO in Florence. Canal County in Florence? Yeah, we just got done doing that. I got my certification. Okay. How long have yeah. you, you been with Maricopa? Uh, just over two years. Okay. So, we got called because somebody said you hit a car on the freeway. Oh, shit. I thought I hit a, I thought I hit a curb. Did you... Where were you at when you hit the curb? Uh, I was on the 202, and then I just exited real quick. Just okay. trying to find where, where are you headed right now? Chandler? Yeah, Chandler. Okay. It wasn't another car you could use. It was the uh, oh, car. Oh, one of like those rays in there. Okay. Because there's a... Uh, Soft duty from Maricopa. He was uh, in Scottsdale for HD and school. And I go, what was your role in it? He goes, you're not that. Okay, but he got out and looked for Lunch Denny. Yeah. And, uh, and I just looked at the dress attire. Yeah, I, I saw was, that. I was like, yeah. Is I, that the driver? And I was like, it's got copper and hollow now. Yeah, and I was looking for Lunch Denny. And uh, I ate shit. Alright, bud. Um, there's nothing to drink tonight, no prescription medications? Okay. Alright. Um, would you mind stepping out of the car for me, please? Are you still looking for the insurance? Yeah. Yeah, let's see if you can pull that up real quick. You alright? You're shaking, bud. No, sir. Eight accidents. I've been in one accident before. No, I, I got you. What time did the, uh, the wet lab get over? About and mine was done about an hour, hour and a half ago. Okay. And then I was waiting on Officer Torres. Who's Officer Torres? He's a motor officer for Maricopa PD. Okay. So you, you hung around waiting? Yeah, we just hung out and wait, waited for him. I dropped him off at Crafts and McDonald's. Talked to my wife, all that jazz, trying to get home, missed my turn. Okay. All right. McDonald's and real big curve. Yeah, see the McDonald's. Okay. So when you were hanging out at the wet lab, did you have anything to drink? No. Nope. Unfortunately, I was one of the students. What's that? Unfortunately, I was one of the students. Okay. So, and, and being an officer, you know that when you hit something, right, you're supposed to pull over? Stop. How long have you been on back up again? About two years. Two years. Were you a police officer anywhere else before that? No. Okay. I was right. trying to find over the next safest place because I don't want to pull over on a highway. No, I got you. And that's why you stopped here? Yeah. Okay. I didn't even see you guys pull up until I started to get out. Okay, so you pulled in and stopped, and then that's when... So I turned around and saw uh, the officer directly behind me. Okay. All right, bud. Um, there's nothing to drink tonight, no prescription medications? Okay. All right. Would you mind stepping out of the car for me, please? Are you still looking for the insurance? Yeah. Yeah, let's see if you can pull that up real quick. You all right? You're shaking, bud. No, sir. Eight accidents. I've been in one accident before. No, I, I got you. But if it's just an accident, that's that's one thing. Yeah, but... Are you on patrol for Maricopa? Yeah. Unfortunately, I work days now. Did I hit another car? That's what they said. I, it was on the freeway. I don't know. DPS transferred it to us when you got off the freeway. So. Okay. Well, 
You didn't notice another car? I honestly did, and I was trying to dig for my McDonald's to eat it. All right. I'll give you your phone back. Do you mind stepping out for me, please? Yeah, of course. So, let's step up here. All right. Nothing to drink? Nothing to drink, man. Your eyes are a little bloodshot watery. You're kind of shaking. and I'm shaking because I know how this goes down. How what goes down? Well, you're going to investigate me for a DUI, most likely. Well, I just want to make sure you have to be driving. You know what I mean? Witness said that you hit a car. You don't recognize hitting a car. You've been doing this long enough. You understand no, if you I, were in my shoes how that would be. Yeah, no, I completely understand that. Okay. So... Not even a beer or two afterwards in the wet lab? So if no. we call down there, they could be like, he just sat there playing on his phone? Waiting for Officer Torres to get his stuff done. Okay. Yeah, cool. you can call PCSO. Okay. Right. From PCSO to Crisman and wherever he lived, from there to McDonald's, McDonald's to the 202 to missing my turn and tiny you McDonald's. Okay. All right. Would you mind if I take a look at your eyes then? If you've had nothing to drink? Yeah, of course. Oh, perfect. All right. But I want you to stand with your feet together, arms straight down at your side. Are you wearing contacts? No. Any recent head injuries? No. Any eye problems? You ever been diagnosed with any eye problems? No. No? All right, what no, I'm gonna do? No nystagmus. No nystagmus. That's kind of weird, you just came from that. All right, <laughs> so you understand, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pen, I'm gonna move it forth, back in front of your face a couple times, follow it with your eyes and your eyes only, don't move your head. <laughs> All right? Do you understand any instructions? Yeah. Any reason you wouldn't be able to do this? Nope. Right, no cool. natural nystagmus or anything like nothing, that. Nothing like that. All right. You see the my pen? Yep. All right, here we go. Try not to move your head, bud. Keep your head stuff. You're okay. Real good. You should have moved. Right. <laughs> there you go. Ah, we don't yell, bud. Keep your head straight. Ah. What's that? I'll look for him. There you go. Can we go up now, okay? okay. Alright, go ahead and relax. Alright. How many juice? <laughs> I'd like to run you through, mo through a few more if you're okay with that. Yeah. Alright, cool. Let's, uh... Find a nice level surface of the line. Does this work right here? Alright. Are we walking towards you? We're gonna go down. that way. Alright. So what you do is put your left foot on the line, right foot in front of it, touching heel to toe, and remain in that position until I tell you to begin. Okay. Can you touch heel to toe? You need a minute? <laughs> I'm nervous as hell. I'm not gonna lie. That's fine. Take a minute. Catch your breath. Possibly losing your job. Why would you lose your job? Well, when I'm acting like this, you know. What do you mean? I got triple zeros. <laughs> what do you mean acting like this? I'm scared as hell. I get scared. And you you understand how this works. It's the totality of everything. If you legitimately haven't had anything to drink, that's fine. But I want to make sure that we do our job and we don't get accused of trying to sweep something under the rug for a fellow police officer. Especially when there's possibly another vehicle that's involved on the freeway. I understand. Make sense? I understand today's, I understand today's society. I got you. All right. So what I want you to do is put your left foot on that line. Put your right foot in front of it, touching heel to toe. Put your arms down at your side and remain in that position until I tell you to begin. All right. When I tell you to begin, I want you to take nine heel-to-toe steps, then turn around and take nine heel-to-toe steps back to where you started, staying on the line. When you turn, you must turn so that your lead foot remains in the remains on the line, and your other foot takes a series of short steps to turn. Watch your feet, keep your hands at your sides, count out loud, and don't stop walking until you finish both sets of nine steps. All right, it's going to look something like this. So you're in the starting position, and you're going to go down the line. One, two, three, all the way to nine. Keep that front foot planted series of short steps and then you're going to come back. One, two, three, until you complete that second set of nine steps. Do you understand the instructions? Okay. Any reason why you wouldn't be able to do this? No. Nope. Alright, go ahead and begin. One, two, three, four, five, 
Alright, but you can go ahead and relax. Alright. You alright? Take take a minute. You're psyching yourself out, bud. I know, I'm just You know how it is. I I understand. But you also know that if roles were reversed. No, if, if there's no impairment, then there's no impairment, right? But the totality of it with another car, I, we just... I got it. Okay. You're good. All right, bud. So the next one. Just relax. You're, you're slacking yourself out. I can see it, all right? All right, so the next one, I want you to stand with your feet together, arms straight down at your side, all right? When I tell you to, I want you to raise one foot six inches off the ground and keep that foot parallel to the ground. Keep your eye on your raised foot and... Kind of, and 1,001, 1,002, 1,003 and so on until I tell you to stop, okay? The purpose of the demonstration, I'm gonna raise my right foot, you can raise whichever foot you want, okay? It's gonna look like this. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, okay? Do you understand the instructions? Yeah. Any reason why you wouldn't be able to do this? No. Nope. Just gotta figure out which foot I want. Yeah, that was my next question. Which foot are you gonna raise? I think I'll raise my... Left raise my foot? Left. All right. All right. You ready? Yeah. Go ahead and begin. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, put it down, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, nervous. I get you. 1,010, 1,011, 1,012, 1,013, 1,014, 1,015, 1,016, 1,017, all right, go ahead and relax, bud. Have you have you taken any prescription medications or anything? Uh, I took no prescription. Uh, hydrocodone. You took hydrocodone? Yeah. When? For uh, my elbow surgery. When was that? Four hours ago. Four hours ago? Yeah, so it should be pretty well out of my system, I would think. How how much are you prescribed? I think it's ten pills or something. Oh, I thought you said you took ten pills. I'm like, oh, good no. God, man. I'm calling an ambo. Yeah, holy crap. Okay. Um, so you took what's the milligram? Five you took you took five. It's the the prescription is five whatever and three twenty five. Like the time release elbow. stuff. Yeah. I just had elbow surgery. Okay. All right. So you said triple zeros, right? Yeah. All right. Well, let's let's give that a shot. Okay. I really hit a car. That's uh, DPS is still working on it. Hold on one sec. 635. 699 on this channel. You start my way, please. Take a deep breath in, exhale out like you're blowing up a balloon. Alright. Yep, 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 yep. So. Just writing it down before I forget it, that's all. So let me, let me ask you this. Are you nervous more so because of the prescription medications you took? No, I've taken them before. It was just a, I honestly got lost. And then uh, I need my McDonald's to get home. I'm tired. Yeah, but 
Did they find the other car from the freeway? I'm not sure. I'm stuck in the LT now, I'm not sure. You want to have the DPS guy talk to him for the phone He's going to talk to you about the... About the rock. Oh, for a second, okay. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Got McDonald's at like Southern and Baseline over at East Mesa. I picked like up a friend and brought him to the HGM lab with us. Dropped him off, grabbed some McDonald's, and... You know, oh, okay. Friend, this friend. Right. Yeah, it happens. It happens, right? Well, not really. <laughs> well... We hope it doesn't happen, but right. you know, we tell I everybody, you know, the accidents do happen. They really do. Yeah. Just, you, know, you don't intend to do that. It no, it's an accident. Yeah. Truth be told, I thought I hit the uh, hit a barrier. That's why I pulled in here. Oh, okay. I don't know. I hit somebody. Did we find him? I'm not sure. That's why the DPS guy's here. Right. I'm not sure. He just pulled up talking to our LT, so I'm not sure. Patrol in, in Maricopa? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, how, how are you guys broken up? And like beats and, and districts? We or? have beats, but there's no beat integrity. Okay. How many beats do you guys have? There's two. Oh, okay. But we're such a small department where we try to like keep beat integrity and it goes for the first part of the, the shift. And then all of a sudden, like our our one side gets a bunch of calls, two will be handling there. Right. And all of a sudden, A side gets, or the one side starts getting bogged down. So you start taking people from the two or the B. Shifting them over here to get them. Gotcha. Flip blocking back okay. and forth. It's... How, how are you guys split, like from north and south or east and west on it the city? It splits right down the tracks. I don't know if you've been to America. Oh, so the tracks they run. Track runs uh, east and west. East and west, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So generally, everything south of the track is the two side. Gotcha. Everything north is the. What's one the busier side? side? The one side. The one side. Okay. A lot more people. Okay. And is Pinal out there quite a bit still, or not as much? Not as much. Okay. Because I know years ago they used to be. Yeah, out years there ago, when we were yeah. first getting out there. Yeah. Like, we tried to live it out there for two and a half years. Right. It's one of those ordeals. Is that your first agency you've been with? Yeah. Oh, okay. What'd you do before? I was in the Army. Oh, okay. What'd you do there? Uh, I was a 19 Delta, a Cav Scout. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Well, my brother was uh, in the Army. He was a. Uh, uh, I don't know the number designation, but he was a combat engineer. Okay. Yeah. He was stationed out there at uh, Polk in oh. uh, Louisiana. <laughs> no. He said it was a nasty, nasty post, man. Uh, oh, no, no. Bad. Where were, you, where were you stationed at? Uh, Fort Benning. Oh, okay. That's a big, that's a big uh, post right there, man. Yeah, Fort big Benning. post. Fort Benning and a little bit of Fort Stewart. Oh. Southeast. Are you from that area? Iowa? Oh, you're from Iowa. What's that? You're from Iowa, huh? Yeah. Why'd you land in Arizona? Uh, there's no snow. <laughs> you tired of this stuff? I hate snow so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? Not a serious self. Well, obviously something. Did you hit a wall? I thought I hit a wall, and that's why I pulled in here, but everybody's telling me I think I hit a car. Okay. I didn't realize the time show. I thought I hit the right barrier for the right wall. Definitely got some broken suspension. That's like, you know, like, yeah. Like, Definitely not even. Damn. Yes, you. Come, come back over here for a second, bud, real quick. I just want you to stand with your feet together, arms straight down at your sides. I just want to take a look at your eyes. Just open your eyes. Okay. Just normal. Like this? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Hang tight. I got a buddy of mine coming. We'll, we'll, we're going to 
figure it out. Okay. Just give me give me two more minutes. At the very end. Yeah, it's really south, oh, wow. right next to Gila uh, River. Yeah, wow. And in the DRE. Well, what? The the oxy when the doctor prescribed you the oxy, what did he what did he tell you? Actually, can you stay yeah. with him real quick? Life's better. I don't know. How you doing, sir? Whatever. Been better. What's going on tonight? Uh, at the final DR, the HGN class tonight at PCSO. Mm -hmm. Dropped a friend off at uh, Chrisman and pretty much Baseline. Went to McDonald's, grabbed some McDonald's, started going home, missed my turn, started eating McDonald's. Somewhere over there, because I knew I missed my turn, and what I thought is I veered into the far right median, but evidently I may have shellacked a car, I didn't know that, and that's why I turned off and pulled in here. Okay. Did you damage your car? No, I did that. I don't... Well, come on back over here, Jonathan. So you don't know if you hit something? I hit something, definitely, yeah. But you don't know if it was a car or I don't know if a median car. or I what? I thought it was the, I don't know if it was a median, but the, uh, on the outside lanes. Right. I think I veered into that and then came back over. Okay. And you haven't been drinking anything in it? No. Uh, we had the HGN lab, which I've Do me a favor and take off your watch for me. In my pocket or? In your pocket's fine. I just want to take your pulse. Oh. Would that be high blood pressure? Seven to 150 or something on a given day, depending on what I'm doing. Whether it's chilling, I'm working out. Are you working out? Am I working? Am I working out? Yeah. Have you been working out today? Yeah. When was the last time? Uh, when was DRE? Left? So probably about one ish, okay. one or two. So nothing since then. No. So what would it normally be if you've been relaxed since then? Probably 80s, 90s. Okay. You know what time it is right now? It has got to be 10 o'clock. Okay. Doing okay. that area? Let me try right, something. Closer 10. Maybe stand with your feet heels and toes together. Just let your arms hang out at your side. And have you tilt your head back, close your eyes. And then when I say the word start, I want you to guess how long it takes for 30 seconds to go by. Okay. And when you think 30 seconds have gone by, bring your head back to this position, open your eyes, and say the word stop. Okay. Any questions? No counting out or anything like that? Just do it inside your head, whatever you do. Okay. Tilt your head back, keep your eyes closed, and wait for me to tell you to start, okay? Okay. Say start, did you? Not yet. Okay. Start. to get your 30 seconds? One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Just counted by thousands? Yeah. What have you taken today? Um, prescription ibuprofen, prescription uh, hydrocodone, asymmetoprofene, or whatever it is. Hydrocodone. Mm -hmm. Anything else? How long ago did you take the hydrocodone? 
Uh, probably an hour before I went to HGN. I had HGN class. I went to HGN class in uh, PCSO tonight. Okay. To get my certification. Do me a favor, look right here at my nose. down like that for me. Okay. Open your mouth really wide. Stick your tongue out. Ah. Good teeth. All right. Give me a favor. Stand with this officer again. I'll be right back. Is that the car you always drive, or is that the family car? Or? Yeah, that's my car. Oh, okay. Well, you guys I don't take my home. wife and I both drive cars. You don't take home patrol cars, though, in Maricopa, right? No, they don't give us patrol cars or anything like that. All right, Jonathan. Here's here's what we're looking at. All okay. right. The triple zeros is was kind of what we expected. Okay. I think with with everything else that you may have either taken more than you were prescribed of the oxy or you took it too soon to be driving safely in a vehicle. All right? So at this point, you are under arrest for DUI. All right? Okay. I need you to put your hands behind your back for me, please. Okay. It's my left. Is, it, is that going to cause you any discomfort? No, you're good. Okay. The left one is we just had. That's sweet. Yeah. Do you have anything on you? Any weapons? No. Do you have cell phone, wallet? Do you have a duty weapon or an off-duty weapon anywhere here? Yeah, there's one duty weapon. What? Or off-duty weapon? It's in my trunk. It's in your trunk. Yeah. Any other gear? It's all your radio. Yep. All of my SWAT gear and all of that actually is in my. So we're talking rifle mags, flashbangs. You have flashbangs in your car? Some gas stuff like this. We got to roll at any point. So there's going to be some gas stuff. as well. Okay. Yeah. I don't have any, there's no gas, like, I'm not talking CS gas or anything like carry, that. Y'all carry flashbangs? You have, like, the little the containers? Box. Oh, okay. That's, yeah, yeah, I thought you meant, like, they were on your vest. I'm like, come on, dude. Nope. All right. Nothing else on you? Uh, you're fine. Your watch? Oh, yeah. That's a good choice to watch. I have almost the exact same one. Give you your watch and stuff back when we get down to the station. Hey, Jonathan. So if we don't lose any of your gear, we want to call your supervisor and let him come and get it. Who, who do we call? Uh, I will call... Can I call him? Our lieutenant's going to call him. Okay. I'd have to get into my phone to get his number. That's acceptable or not. Yeah, how do we... It's going to be... Pat. I can get it off the plane. Yeah. Back, it's oh. one of those. <laughs> yeah. All right, who are we looking for? He gets out of all that, the middle number, and then you Bonk. slide up, and then go to contact. Second row far left is, oh, there. Yeah, I'm sorry. Second, Second row bottom. Who am I looking for? Sergeant Elliot Sneezy. No ankle holster, nothing like that? Yeah. Sorry, curiosity, did I hit another car? It sounds like it was the wall on the transition. But the person that followed you called it in is that you had hit another car. That's why we were here. Okay. But I guess. Um, I just make sure nobody was hurt. No, nobody was hurt. Okay. So we're going to go over here to that silver truck. Follow me. Yeah, yeah the Tahoe. Yeah. Because you are under arrest for DUI, I have to read this to you, okay? 
You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to the presence of an attorney before and during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, you have the right to have an attorney appointed before questioning at no cost to you. Do you understand these rights? Yes. Uh, hang tight for me for a couple of minutes and okay. uh, we'll get we'll get going. You want uh, stuff in the center console? He's got pills and stuff in there. Oh, sure. stuff, you know. Posters. I think he said flashbangs and smoke. All kinds of stuff. I'm sure there's a rifle and all that stuff in there too. Was that Maricopa on duty that called you back the second time? It's Adderall. Ah. Like a property sheet, you mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll open out. Because if there's a discrepancy between, hey, yeah. I mean, I'm still going to be recording, but this, yeah. this guy's saying, right. it was in my car, and we're saying, well, we turned over what we did. Well, right. What do we know? We turned over. Just got gotcha. okay. yeah. I'll grab a, exactly. I'll grab a property we, sheet, and that way it's we can black and white. Yeah. This is what we exactly what we gave them, what we found in the car. Yeah. And we'll have this. this he did have a gun in the, because he kept saying, he, at one time he told me, I have a gun over here. Yes. And then later he said he had his gun in the trunk. Okay. And it was in the front. It was underneath the brace. So, but anyway, yeah, I'll grab a property sheet. I wonder why he uh, got off on Alma School. He lives he, south he, of the PD. Yeah, I asked him where he lives, and he said, uh, what do you say? Riggs and something. Uh, but, he, but he said, I'm almost down by the res. Yeah, there we go.
Do you guys carry it like that when you were in SWAT? A big old bag like this with all your stuff? Really? Tries to keep it you know, somewhat like organized. Mm -hmm. But it, there's just a bunch of stuff. Right. Well, then you guys wear different kits for different operations too, right? Uh, Sometimes lighter or heavier, yep. that kind yep. of stuff. Yep. Just the damage. Uh, overall, inside, just for the heck of it? No? No. Nah. No, we got a little no, camera. Um, we're just, yeah. it's, DPS didn't take a report. Oh, okay. It happened on the freeway. Right. Just the DUI investigation, everything else we wanted. Overall. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. But an uh, uh, instant type will be DUI? Yeah. I'll hold that for you. Okay. What did you say the first one was? Uh, the first one was the Glock 43, which should be in a holster, right? It's that one right there. Pistol. That's the Springfield. And that way it should be George. And I just put on there that has the TLR light and the holster and stuff. And then the Colt M4. That one is has the M Point Pro on it and the Surefire weapon light as well. Okay. And you then there was something on another the weapon? radio. Oh, the okay. radio. Yeah, I got that. Yeah. One. And then the uh, I put the single bang grenade, the okay. LiDAR unit. And then the large SWAT awesome. bag kit. So okay. that's just what I wrote there. If I could just get you to sign there saying that you're accepting it, I'm going to give you a copy of this so that you have it. All right. Whoa, you good? Yeah. Cram back there. Yeah, you kind of tall. Yeah. Waiting for this weather to break. Second door on your left. Is that Brit? Look like it. This is a little, a little nicer in here than normal. Oh, oh. Have a seat. What branch of the service are you in? Army. What did you do in the army? Cast out. How long did you do that? Uh, only about four years. Four years. Four years station. Fort Stewart, the whole time. What about you? Uh, I was supposed to play baseball in, baseball in college, so I did the reserves. Okay. And then I got hurt near the end of basic and had to have a hernia surgery and missed spring training. So I stayed in the reserves the whole time. GPS signal lost. So, did you go overseas at all? Yeah, I did one uh, tour in Afghanistan. When was that? 2012-2013. I was there in 2010. Okay. The Iraq in 07 and Afghanistan in 2010. Well, I was going to fun, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Fun is not fun. I, 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 I get what you meant. It's a, a life experience. I'll grow up real quick. We, uh, we got over there. I was 23, and I had a... I was a team leader, so it wasn't just me. I had... Two other guys that were like, hey, what do we do? That was, it made you grow up real quick. <laughs> so this is different if I do something and screw up and get myself hurt, but you start putting other people in it. it yeah, when I mean, you're responsible for other people's lives, that's where it's... What uh, What did you do before this that you have a CDO? Uh, I worked for Anheuser-Busch. 
Aye. So they just want everybody else to yell out for their insurance costs. Are you officer or enlisted? Enlisted. Good. Good. We can still talk. I work for a living. That's right. <laughs> Did you pick up your five before you got up? Oh, yeah. That's six months before I got up. Not that long. They, they let you pin right before, even even though you were getting out? Yeah. I thought you had to have a certain amount of time left. <laughs> no? Of course, I didn't really make it known that I was. <laughs> and you said you've been with Maricopa for two years? Yeah, a little over two. And you made your swap team that early? Yeah. They're desperate, so they opened it up to people that are younger. How many sworn do you have in Maricopa? 70, 70 oh, really? Michael Shaw. Not too many. Well, it's more than I thought it was going to be, though. Growing. How much you can cover outside the city limits? Uh, it's really not. Cause we're so landlocked because of the, the reservations. Mm -hmm. that it's really... How many square miles is Maricopa? Can you tell you Can you tell me how many square miles Chandler is? I can do the math. Oh, I was like... <laughs> <laughs> This is an oral board? <laughs> I, was just, I was just curious. I, I thought 80 was a higher number than I was expecting. Yeah, it's growing. I mean, it's a lot of dead land in the city that they tried to build on, you know, in 2008 when the market crashed. So you said you still live on, or you live on Onyx? Yes. Onyx okay. Drive, so thank you. I went to HGN school with somebody from my and I thought they said they had, like, a nice shift. Two people on one side of the city and two people on the other. So I was just adding up, and I was like, there are some times where, like, we are critical staffing. Do you guys have, like, a minimum staffing that you have to have on the road? That would be, like, we consider minimum is three and a sergeant, and then critical is two and a sergeant. For the whole city? Yep. And that usually ends up on grades, and that's when shit usually happens. All right. Like the other day, we had an excited delirium when the guy died. I heard about that. One of the guys that was involved in that was supposed to help teach DT instructor school. Oh, really? Yeah, I can't think of his name. He's getting ready to go for his SME for uh, DT instructor. And he called, because we're, we're hosting a, a DT instructor school right now in Chandler. And I went to help teach it. And I guess that guy was supposed to be coming out, but he couldn't because he's on modified duty because of that. All right, real quick, I'm going to read this to you. Um, like I said, you are under arrest for DUI. That's why you're brought down here, okay? It says, will you consent to a test or test of your blood, breath, urine, or other bodily substances of determining your alcohol concentration or drug content? Yep. If the test results are not available or indicate any alcohol concentration of a .08 or above, I'm sorry, or indicate an alcohol concentration of a .08 or above, .04 or above in a commercial vehicle, or indicate any drug defined in ARS, 133401, or it's metabolite without a valid prescription, then your Arizona driving privilege will be suspended for no less than 90 consecutive days. Alcohol or drug screening must be completed before your privilege may be reinstated. Will you consent to the test? Yes. Do you have a blood draw? Yeah, we are uh, an all-blood agency here. We ran out of tourniquets. Like two weeks ago. You ran out of training. <laughs> like awesome. Tell your boss, you're like, hey, how am I supposed to work like this? We have one people grab one of those biohazard red bags. <laughs> how many blue bows do you have, you think? Four? Yeah. They want to get one per squad. And then we have a couple of records ladies that are flea bows. Oh, and let them do it? Yeah, and then a couple of dispatchers want to do it too, so it's really nice. So we need them. We can we get them. We used to have uh, some of our defects, right? I don't think so. There used to be civilians. I'm trying to remember who. I don't. I don't doubt it. Because I think uh, Lori Caminiti used to be a little. Did she? Uh, uh, you, you could be right. But it's, I think it's been a while. All right, John. Is it John or Jonathan? What do you prefer? For Jonathan. Jonathan. Okay. Can I get you to sign? Right here, and all you're saying is that you're consenting to the blood draw. Yep, you got it. Right here on this one? Yep. Perfect. And anything I have you sign, I will give you a copy of. Yep. And Officer Barker, 
both qualified for bottomless as part of being on the DUI squad. They send us to. We yeah. have. They send us to phlebotomy school, so yeah. I am a trained and qualified phlebotomist. Our department is trying to get more for you guys. Well, I feel bad for you guys. A bunch of, when you guys got a research, it seems like a bunch of idiots there blowing each other's veins out. So we, if you're on the squad, uh, on a DUI squad, we uh, we don't. Uh, we don't have to worry about research because we do so many of them and our numbers don't get low. We just have to do the, I think it's like every two years you have to go in and it's like a, almost like a proficiency day. Yeah. So it's not, I don't have to worry about, uh, oh, my numbers are low. I need to go. Yeah. So some of the patrol guys that, we have we have some patrol guys that do it too, that are flea bows. Yeah, and so if, if, if their numbers get low, then they have to, they would come in and practice sticking each other and stuff like that. Have you had any issues with getting your blood drawn in the past? I'm not a big fan of it. I've never passed out. But I should. That was my next question. You never passed out or anything? No, nope, but I don't look at it either. That's fine. What? Uh, where do they usually get you? Uh, they usually do left. Left time. Have you ever been told you have uh, hard veins or anything like that? No. No. Shellfish or anything. Shellfish iodine. There you go. Get you lift your arms up real quick. Perfect. Can you go get some more gauze? We're out of gauze. Like the gauze squares. I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, it's in the car. Perfect. I don't know where else I can get in here. Yeah, it's fine. Thank you. How did you, uh, how long did you work for Anheuser? Uh, it was like seven years. Did you like it? No, I hated it. Started out as part time during college, and then I kind of slowly worked my way up. Where'd you go? Where'd you go to college? Uh, the University of Northern Iowa. Oh, okay. So I got a question for you, bud. Okay. You said you took a hydrocodone. Hydrocodone. I'm sorry. Hydrocodone. Four hours ago. Well, you told me to stop. Yeah. Were you at Pinal County in Florence when you took it? Right afterwards. So afterwards. Yeah. Where is that prescription bottle? Right home. Tracking. Tracking what? I'm I'm curious. So did you took it while you were there after the wet lab? Yes. What did you retrieve that pill from? My pocket. So you just had a loose oxycotton in your pocket, or oxycodone, hydrocodone, I'm sorry. I'm not a DRA, I need to get a better plan. So you just had a loose one in your pocket? Yes. Did you take anything else? No. Well, you told us you took Ambien when you were eating the hamburgers. Yeah, Ambien. You're right, yeah. Where'd you get the Ambien from? I got it prescribed. Where'd you pull the pill from? Oh, my pocket. So you just had loose pills in your pocket? Yes. Why would you take a sleeping pill prior to driving a vehicle? To tell you the truth, because I haven't slept for sh- I haven't slept very well. You're not gonna just you're not gonna offend us if you cut. You're fine. Okay. I haven't slept for shit since I had the surgery on my arm three weeks ago. I'm averaging two to three I'm, two to three a night, and I wanted to take it, get home, and crash, and not be up until two or three in the morning. So I thought I would take it. I shouldn't say I thought I would. I took it, grabbed some food, and was driving home. So you were just trying to curb the time that it would take effect? Yes. You, so, didn't, you didn't think that was a bad idea, getting behind the wheel after taking that stuff? I honestly, with my body weight stuff, no. What does the ambient look like? A little pink pill. 
Does it have any markings on it? I'm sure it does. You don't know what they are though? It's is oval. it round? Is it oval? Is it square? It's oval. Oval? And it's pink? Yeah. So before you left the house to go to the wet lab, you took an oxy pill and an ambient pill and loosely put it in your pocket? Yes. Okay. Are you prescribed anything else? Uh, prescription, uh, ibuprofen, some other things. I don't know off the top of my head. I have lots of old prescriptions. What are those? Off the top of my head. I really don't remember. Any of them start with an A? I, not top you my just head. about started to say, you know what, listen, you're a police officer, right? You get it. And, and you can relate to this. 90% of the time when we ask a question, we don't really answer. You started to say what that other prescription was that started with an A. You have no idea. You've never been prescribed anything else. No. Not for breast cancer? No. Isn't that what that pill was for? Yeah. Is your wife had breast cancer? This is a male breast cancer pill. No. According to drugs.com. Anastrozole? What is that? Oh, for testosterone. That's a testosterone booster. Yeah. Okay. 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 So that's that's fine. The problem is, in your car we found the two anastrozole bottles. But those are Xanax. Right. What? Help me understand why you have Xanax in a testosterone pill bottle. Why wouldn't you keep the Xanax in the prescription bottle that came in? And are you prescribed Xanax? Yes. For what? For sleep, for anything from the back of um, Afghanistan. Okay. Is it prescribed to the VA? No. Can I see that? Yeah. Is that the pink Ambien pill you took? Broken in half. Is that what it was though? Yeah. Okay. This is Adderall. Oh. I think you knew that though. Because when he said the prescription that started with A, it looked like you were starting the mouth of the word Adderall and then you stopped yourself. I was not. Okay. And that's fine. I could be wrong. I've, I've been wrong before and that's fine. Are you prescribed Adderall? No. So where did you get the Adderall? Because there's quite a few pills in there. Right. And it's in a pill bottle that's prescribed to you, but it's the prescription for that testosterone that you were talking about. I've had those forever since the Army. The Adderall? The Adderall. You get prescribed this in the Army? Yes. How long have you been out of the Army? 2015? 2014? Four or five, five years. years. How often do you take the Adderall? Whenever I like, can't think. Whenever you can't. How many pills were you initially prescribed? Because there's still a decent amount in here. A lot. Where's the original pill bottle? Probably at home somewhere. Or destroyed. Or... Who? Is it the same doctor that prescribed this anastrozole that prescribed the Xanax? No. Who? What, what doctor prescribed the Xanax? Somebody in there, like a VA. Asked if it was a or not VA. I shouldn't say VA. The uh, like Fort Stewart. Like on post, like sick yeah. call. You you got this at like sick call on post. You know where it was to Walter. Not Walter Reed. Like Walter Reed's in DC. Please DC. listen. You you're backpedaling now. All right. This this is a lot of Xanax for a legitimate prescription. Xanax. They have ways of tracing your prescriptions that have been issued to you. Mm -hmm. So if we get a hold of our narcotics guys and ask them to pull your prescriptions, are they going to find a prescription for Xanax? Be honest with me, because this is all going to come up. You know your agency already knows about generally what's going on. Right. They're going to get a copy of my report. They're going to see that. Okay. Right. This in and of itself, without talking to you, is prescription of a narcotic. Because you have taken a prescription and put it in a pill bottle that's not what it's prescribed for. Twice. Which is deceptive at best. All right? 
So I don't want you to get or jammed up for lying about it on top of it. Catch out of the bag. We have this stuff. Right. Have you been prescribed this legally? No. Okay. Where did you get this anime? From something off the internet. So you bought it off the internet? Yeah. Okay. And then you put it in the prescription bottle hoping that you get through, it would just pass if you ever got stopped or somebody went through your car? And in my, I just threw it in the car. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. And the same with the Adderall? Yeah. Okay. Were you issued Ambien? Or were yes. you prescribed Ambien? Yeah. Okay. How, how long have you been taking Xanax? I've had it for, I don't know how long, probably a year. I take it whenever I can't sleep. Did you take any today? Um, no. You just went through HGN school, right? Mm -hmm. What causes HGN? What kinds of things will cause HGN? Uh, CNS depressants. Okay. Xanax is a CNS depressant and so is Ambien. Okay. Did you see HGN? Neither did he. So, you haven't taken any Ambien today. You, the one that the Adderall is what you said you took. You said you took half of one of those pills? Yeah. Okay. But it wasn't Ambien. It was the Adderall. Yeah. I just want to make sure we're on the same page. Yeah. Okay. Because honestly, Adderall kind of helps me focus. And with two, three hours of sleep a night, take half a pill of Adderall. Do and... you know what Adderall is? As far as... Uh, a DRE is concerned, the category? No. It's a stimulant. Okay. You, you, take the, you take the it's Adderall, it's not going to let you sleep. No. I should say, I knew it I knew it wouldn't let me sleep. It was when I can't sleep, I get up and actually sleep. Dude, gotcha. Okay, gotcha. So how many, how often do you take Adderall? Maybe once every other day, I have a pill. Okay. And then how often do you take the Xanax? Rarely. Rarely? You just leave them in your car just in case? Usually in the, in the center console? In the, uh, what do you call it, the medicine cabinet at home? Okay. They're still in the car. But I usually don't keep them in the car. Okay. So you put them in the car today? Uh, yesterday. Okay. And you said you got them from somebody on the internet? Yeah. This isn't. Okay. I just want to make sure, like I said, I don't want you to get jammed up for lying on top of the issues you have in front of you. Right. So if it's not somebody from the internet and it's somebody you know, or maybe it's a coworker who says, hey, you can't sleep, try this, if you want to get ahead of that, because no. that will all come out in those interviews, and I don't want you to get jammed up for lying on top of... No. No, no coworker is going to do that. Okay. I did research online, stuff like that, and ended up on message boards, people never really try this, so, right. just to clarify, these two were never prescribed. You didn't get this from sick call or force to it. You understand what my note is? Okay. You missed by three inches? Yeah. And you got a legit, is your Ambien prescription, is that legit, or did you get that online too? No, it's legit. Okay. So, you are prescribed Ambien and this Anastrozole? Yes. Those are your two prescribed medications? Yes, and the hydrocodone or whatever. Right. Okay. And did you... Did you take a hydrocodone today? Yes. At what time? I knew it is. Yeah. So before you left for the wet lab? Yeah, well before. Okay. And then you threw an Adderall And then took it before you left Florence? Adderall? No, this morning. You took a half a pill this morning? Yeah. Did you take the other half with the hamburgers? No. So you didn't have any Adderall with the hamburgers? No, because that will keep me up all night long. Okay, but you're, what did you take with the hamburgers then? Because you said you took an Ambien with the hamburgers, and we determined that that's what you were trying to say was the Ambien. And then you also said you took the hydrocodone right after the wet lab, which would be the burgers. Yeah. So we've got two different things. Uh, hey, no, did you actually you're, take after the, the, the wet lab? You're 100% right, yeah. I did take the hydrocodone after the wet lab as well with the Adderall. Adderall. No. Xanax. No, Xanax. Xanax would be the depressant. The, uh... The like Ambien. Ambien. Uh, I'm sorry. 
just, bad on that. Just from looking at your your body behavior from when you were first on scene to now, mm-hmm. you had trouble standing still before, but you are going 100 miles an hour compared to. And me personally, and I'm not a DRA, and they can back me on this. I think you took an Adderall. I think you because, took a whole pill. Because you are twice as fidgety now. Almost two hours after I first had contact with you, than before. Okay, I can. To me, that's what we're for. We're looking for honesty. Yep, yeah, I get it. I am a nervous, fidgety guy. I got with, you so I, with a million things running through my mind right now. At first, I was trying to save my ass. Clearly, that's not the policy, and I know that's not the right policy. I can tell you, I did not take an Adderall tonight. I can tell you, I did take an Ambien. Okay. And then the. If I that's the case, you've been with us, we've been in contact for what, two or three hours? Yeah. Two hours. What are you guessing your opinion on? Sin. So am I. If you took an Ambien two hours ago, an Ambien's made, meant for you to sleep, right? You should be drooling, right? Because after about two hours kicking in, you should be good. But you are more amped up now than you were before, which is the exact opposite of an Ambien. Does that make sense? That's the statement. Complete sense. I would. The, the grinding of your jaw, the movement of your feet, you can't sit still. That's not Ambien. That's Adderall. That's that stimulant that keeps you up and focuses. Okay. All right? So maybe you thought you threw an Ambien in your pocket, but I, th- I think you took an Adderall. And it's not going to change anything. Like, we have your blood. You have... Got this. Illegal prescriptions, it's, it's not going to change anything. We're just trying to figure out what exactly you took before you left that lab. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, if you believe honestly that you took an Ambien, all we're showing is that you did. You took something that you thought was something else and it was really one of these Adderall. I can tell you without a doubt, it's the tiny, itsy, bitsy, pain in the ass little pills. So it wasn't that oval, pink oval that you were describing? It's, it's pink oval. It's a really but tiny, really it's small like one. Really itsy bitsy small. Okay. And I honestly figured with my body weight and all of that, that's some food that I would be able to make it time. Let, let me ask you this. When you were prescribed the ambient, did the pill bottle come with any warning labels on it? To not drive or to take caution driving or whatever it is. Because what? Because it can make you groggy. It can make cause drugs. So mm-hmm. I'm sure the doctor tells you goes over that with you too. Okay, so it may cause drowsiness. How how long how long ago were you prescribed the ambient? Uh, today. First day that he took in the other. Okay, so today. So you were okay. So you. I guess what I'm getting at is you had never taken it before, so you didn't know how it was going to affect you. Right. I was told how it might affect me. So yeah, the doc told you this may, this might make you drowsy. That's that it may make me drowsy. Okay. The same thing. And you have never taken it before. Correct. Okay. They also told me that you you understand how that probably wasn't the best idea. Obviously, yeah. A stupid idea. I looked at it as I'm no small guy, I'm no big guy. But with the hydrocodone and all that, obviously mixing them was not But you also you also have to understand, think about Think about HGM, right? With alcohol. But Officer Barker is not a drinker. Okay? You're not either, correct? <laughs> Never had it. Right. Neither of these two are drinkers. I drink a mile off time, right? One beer for me, even my size, compared to these guys, it would probably mess them up more than it would me, yeah. you know, body size-wise. Why is that? They have zero tolerance. You don't have a tolerance for anything. Yes, you're a bigger guy, but you don't know how your body's going to react to that. Does that make sense? Okay. But it's not going to act like a stimulant. Yeah. Either way, it's not a stimulant. No, it's a... It's a depressant. Good night, Bill. Right. And you are far from good night sex. I had, had a girl in that seat two days ago, and she had just taken an Ambien like 45 minutes prior, and she couldn't stay awake. Oh, dude, I had it. Yeah. We got social news. You guys... Is there anything else? I'm good. He's going to need your PBT number and yes. the time of your PBT drawn. Lieutenant Pier, our lieutenant on scene said that your sergeant wanted to know if 
he needed to give you a ride home, or they were going to have your wife come get you. I'll oh, say my wife come get you. They're going to have your wife come get you? Okay. If that's... Yeah. We're not know. planning on booking you, so... No, yeah, I told you that from the jump. Like, yeah, no, as long as you didn't fight with us down here, <laughs> we, don't, we don't book for DUIs. Um, so, that's all I have. Have you called your wife yet? No, she's called several times. She called back one. Yeah. Go ahead and call her. Let her know that you're ready to ever come get you. We're at 250 East Chicago Street. Oh, yeah. Downtown Chicago. Yeah, yep. that's the main station. 250 yeah. East Chicago Street. Tell her she can come pick you up. We just need to get some fingerprints and a photograph of you, and then okay. that's all I have. I'll get you your copies of the paperwork of the right to an independent test. And they ever bring the tow sheet down? No. Who was doing it? Is it Lombardo? Yeah. Can we go find out? Okay. You want me to this? Yeah. Thank you. Now, and your career and all that. If you can imagine. Yeah. What? No world? Alright, right thumb. We're just going to roll them now. Just relax your hand and I'll move it. This is kind of, it's kind of finicky. Uh, one from Maricopa. I don't know if it's yours. This is your stuff. I'll get to you here in a minute. I have... This is your tow sheet. Your vehicle is being towed to 1600 North Delaware Street. Phone number is right there. Okay. Uh, it's just a standard tow, so when you go, uh, bring this and your driver's license, which is right here. I'll give that back to you. I'll put it there. Uh, because it's not alcohol, we don't have the ability to test your blood here, so we have to send it off to DPS. DPS, so when we get your results back, they'll, the court will mail you a court date. Okay. This is your right to an independent test that I read to you. Yep. On the back is the aftercare instructions from where I drew your blood, should that give you problems later. I think he has something else going on. I'm gonna put you back in that room until your wife gets here and then we'll uh, take you loose. We're gonna leave this outside the uh, outside the door though. I'm gonna put you in the big the big room. There's more more room to stretch out. I do need you to take your belt and your shoes off and set it outside the door, please. Alright, I'll put the paperwork in with the uh, stuff. I'll come get you when your wife gets here. Yeah. I guess they came down because they were they didn't know that your wife was on the way. They wanted to make sure you had a ride home. So they're in the lobby right now. Yeah. They came down with good intentions to make sure that you had a safe ride home. That's what they were here for. So. So I explained to your wife, but you're going to get a court date in the mail. Make sure you pay attention to it, because if you don't show up, they issue a warrant for your arrest, and right. you don't obviously don't want that. That's All right. So you can go straight through that wood door right in front of you. And, yep. And they're in the lobby. Good luck to you.